In this video, we're going to learn how to solve these MIT derivative questions or differentiation questions with the Casio FS901 ES Plus scientific calculator. And after going through this video, I guarantee you that you'll be able to solve not just these MIT derivative questions, but differentiation questions in general with the Casio calculator. So ensure you stay with me at the very end of this video. Having known that, let's get the Casio calculator and go into the details of the video. So this is Casio FS901 ES Plus scientific calculator. Now, the for the purpose of those of you watching my video for the very first time, I'm going to start from the beginning to explain all the processes involved in solving differentiation of the Casio calculator. So the first step you have to follow will be to reset the calculator. The essence of resetting it is to wipe out to remove whatever previous value you might have stored on the calculator. So to quickly reset this Casio calculator, all you have to do is press shift button now you follow the instruction. Okay, so want to clear or you press the way, press your quote to and press the quote again or a C K anyone. So we have received the calculator. The next thing you have to do will be to ensure that you put the calculator in radium mode. Very, very important. Okay, and then I recommend that you should solve your derivative questions under degree mode with the Casio calculator. In most cases you end up having the wrong answers as your output, particularly when you are dealing with trigonometric functions. Okay. So to quickly put it in radian mode, the first shift mode, then radian is option four. So as you can see, it has been switched to radian mode. So the next thing you do after switching to radian mode will be to store a number. Now I recommend to for people I teach because I practice with it for a very long time and I have not found any error with it. So to store two on this calculator, you can choose to store any number you want. But I recommend two. Two feels ideal to me. So to start two on this calculator, you press the number first. Press shift. This button. I will say L button stands for store. You want to store it as X. You press this X button. Once you do it, it will indicate here that two has been stored as X on the calculator. Okay. So right now, let's go ahead and differentiate this function we have here. The idea here is that we use this stored value to differentiate the question and also use the stored value to simplify or evaluate the options. So let's begin with question one. We also find the derivative of 1 over square root of x. So to do that, you need to bring out the over the s function on this calculator. You press shift this integral button sign to come out. So we have a fraction 1 over square root of x. Press alpha x. Okay. So go to this place and put the two you store. Very, very important. Lastly, before you press record two, you need to ensure that the brackets are balanced. As you can see, the number of brackets here are balanced. We have one at the right and one at the left. So they are balanced. You press record. If the brackets are not balanced, but now you are done imputing your values, you end up having syntax error as the output. So you press record two. We have minus 0 0.17. Right now, we're going to simplify or evaluate the options with that stored value. Anyone that gives us minus 0 0.17 will basically be the answer to this question. So let's begin with option A is in fraction. So we have 1 over minus 1 over 2. So you put minus under fraction minus 1 over 2. Okay. Then we have x alpha x and the power there is minus 1 over 2 as well. So we have minus 1 over 2. Then the denominator we have it to be in bracket square roots of x alpha x. We close the bracket square. So that's what we have there. You close the brackets first before you put square. Okay, let's remove these brackets before we press equal to very important. So the brackets are balanced. So let's press equal to now and get our answer. So we have minus 0 0.17. So now the correct option to this question. Okay, so lastly, let's solve this question too before we call it a class especially if you are watching my video for the very first time. 
So let's solve this question too so that you understand these processes better in solving derivative questions with the Casio calculator. Let's remove this. We have to find the derivative of 1 over in bracket s square plus 1. So we bring out the derivative function, we press shift this. Okay, we have 1 over in brackets s square plus 1. We close the brackets, then come this place and put it to restored. Press equal to. So we have minus 0 per 1 6. Right now we're going to simplify the options. Anyone that gives us minus 0 per 1 6 will basically be the answer to this question. So let's begin with option A. Let's simplify option A is in fraction. We have minus 2x alpha x over we have s square plus 1. We close the bracket, it puts the square here. So let's see if we're going to have minus 0 per 1 6. Let's phrase the code to minus 0 per 1 6. Correct. So the answer to this question is also option A. So this is basically how you can solve problems involving derivative or differentiation with the Casio calculator with this Casio calculator and seconds for multiple choice question. Hope you learned something interesting from this video. Now if you are new to the channel ensure you subscribe to the channel by hitting the subscribe button for more videos like this. Also like share and comment on this video. Tell me how you feel for what you have learned from this class. If you seem to have any specific questions asked regarding these problems we dealt with in the video Feel free to leave your question in the comment section below and I'll ensure to give you a response. Now, in my previous video, I talked about how to solve Harvard differentiation and derivative questions. Now, if I'm to compare those questions we solved, why experiment with Harvard differentiation questions with these MIT derivative questions? If you ask me, I will say that the questions from both schools almost have the same level of difficulty for my own judgments okay so that's what i have to say about the questions from the two schools hope you learned something interesting from the video once more don't forget to clear your calculator once you are done just press shift button 9 follow the instruction and the calculator is cleared i will see you in my subsequent video